What's going on everybody? I hope you're having a great day. What I'm bringing to you to today is commercial real estate. This bad boy behind me right here is 15,500 square feet of pure money. Commercial real estate is not like residential. We don't got emotions and we run off of numbers. I'm gonna give you a quick sneak peek of this center, what I got working over here, what opportunities are here, and a lot of excitement. So stay tuned and let's get started. All right guys, so in this center, we got a lot of space and a lot of opportunity. I'm about to get you the door open right now. As you can see, the lockbox is already taken because I got the key right here. This is where the money is right here. If you got the key, you got the key to success. That's a saying by, you guys know who that is, right? Welcome, welcome, I open the door for you guys. This is a respectful thing that I do when I welcome people to my centers. Now what you're seeing right now in this big empty space is in commercial real estate, we call this an empty shell. An empty shell is what? It's empty and it's a shell and there's nothing going on. This has no HVAC, which is no AC system, no plumbing, no electrical, absolutely nothing. No walls, sheetrock, any of that stuff. But let me show you guys what we got over here. Now this space that you guys see, there's framing going up. We have a special business opening here, a very successful franchisee. They got the end cap. What's an end cap? We got spaces that are in lines we got spaces that are end caps. End caps are usually at the end of the building, either on the left side or on the right side. They rent for more money, they're more visible. You can put a sign on the left and on the face. It's just what people like more. Now, if you got the money, always get an end cap, but if you don't got the money, we'll just deal with an inline. All right, guys, so what you see right here is all the cutting through the concrete, and you got the piping for the plumbing going from the back of the space to the front of the space. The smartest thing to do is to not pour the concrete, because if you pour the concrete and then try to do the plumbing, you got to do all of this cutting, which is what you try to avoid. It's a lot more expensive, a lot more money that has to be spent, but sometimes you just can't predict what business will be here and where the plumbing is gonna have to flow. What we have going on here is a business that's going to open, which is a franchisee. The cool thing about it is this took a year to negotiate back and forth with landlords and lawyers. I went through hell to be honest, but the beautiful thing about commercial real estate is after you negotiate and after you go through hell, you end up having the business and the deal go through. It's so exciting to see the space come to life. It is going to be a future Little Caesars franchisee. This franchisee is extremely successful, has over 18 plus locations, and is gonna turn a lot of money, and I'm excited for it, and that's the game of commercial real estate. All right, guys, now I got something real cool that I wanna show all of you that you're gonna be like, hmm, that is pretty cool. So what I just showed you right now is the shopping center that's 15,500 square feet. Now what you wanna know is that when you get a shopping center or when you're building a shopping center, you wanna make sure you got traffic that's in front of me that you guys see. You wanna make sure it's not just hidden in the shack, it's not hidden in the corner, and it's just a dead space. You wanna make sure you got action going on. Now I'm not only leasing this shopping center, but I'm also leasing that one across the street. As you can see, they finished the framing, 10,100 square feet of pure opportunity, and I'm about to take you there. So guys, get ready, because we got excitement coming left and right. All right, guys, now what we have over here behind me is 10,100 square feet of what I said on the other side of the street, opportunity. Now, look at this. If you put the camera, you can see the other center that I'm leasing out. But we're focusing on this center right here, so we're not gonna show the other center. Now, this space right here is gonna have an anchor tenant. What's an anchor tenant? You're probably wondering. Anchor tenant is like Fiesta, Kroger, Target, Home Depot, somebody who takes the majority of the space. And over here, we're gonna have an anchor tenant who's a grocery store, who they're taking almost 80% of the space. And then we have 3,000 square feet that we're currently pre-leasing. What's pre-leasing? We're gonna pre-lease basically before the building is finished. We're gonna already have leases in place and we're gonna lease it out. All right guys, now we got a lot of dirt right here. Let me hope I don't get all smudgy in what they say. Now we are in the beautiful shopping center that is starting to get progress. I love it. High ceilings, open space. Of course, it's not finished yet. There's a lot more gonna happen, but they are doing a great job with this space. It's right now empty, so you really can't see much, but they're about 60% finished. The framing is up, and now as they start to get more progress, you're gonna see a lot more. This space, we're pre-leasing the end cap over there and the inline over there. Now, you're probably wondering what's the end cap and the inline. I already told you guys when I was at the other center, so I'm not gonna repeat it, but this is what we got. Commercial real estate, 
opportunity and money. I love it. No emotions, none of that residential stuff. Even though I do residential real estate, this is where I thrive because I love negotiations, I love fighting back and forth, and I love talking numbers because numbers do not lie. So this center is one of them. All right guys, that's what we got for you today. Now remember one thing, if you got value from this video, if you feel like you're a little smarter than before you started the video, please don't forget to hit that like button. It shows your support. And also remember to subscribe. Every single week I got real estate content coming at you real strong. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Commercial real estate, residential real estate, real estate entrepreneur life. It's exciting and I hope you all are enjoying these videos. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.